So what do they expect of us now, now that this war is on our doorstep? Of course, there has got to be civil mobilization. And uh, if we keep waiting for this to be centrally handled, you know, we're, we're all going to become, if we're not already, slaves in our own land. That for me is personally intolerable. It's not an acceptable condition. And whatever it takes, I stand ready to contribute in any way. And I've made my government, my government understand this, you know, that we are here uh, not just to live, but to live in dignity. Right now, a dignity is being rubbished. My forest has been taken over. It's been shrinking, shrinking. My normal hunting grounds, yes, it's been shrinking, shrinking. My family tells me that if I go in depth again, they will have me institutionalized. What would you be expecting from the president at this time? What do you think he needs to do to break the riot act, if you like, or tell the people that it's no longer business as usual and we are ready to meet this at the board right now? Address the nation. Address the nation in very stern, unambiguous uh, terms. Say openly, yes, I know I am the patron of the Cattle Rearers uh, Association, etc., etc. I'm a cattle uh, rancher myself. It's a business, and I run my business on business terms. I do not run my business by killing people. I do not run my business by raping, by displacing, by torturing. I do not run my business by occupying land that does not belong to me. And I'm warning all business people in the food commodity, all you cattle rearers, whatever comes to you for illegal occupation or for trespassing on other people's property is your business. And I'm ordering the army, I'm ordering all the security forces to back citizen effort in flushing you out. I expect nothing less, even at this stage. It's very late already, but it's not too late. This is the language which I expect from President Buhari. And as long as that language does not come, I must consider him quite compli you know, complicit in what is going on because the buck stops at his desk. What is your biggest fear about yeah, where we are now? We may, have, uh, we may enter a phase of serial skirmishes which get more and more violent, become less and less focused, and swell into, I hate to use the word, may develop into a civil war and a very untidy, messy one at that. That's my biggest fear. And unless action is taken, and I'm very glad that the governors are coming together and discussing in all, seriously, in all seriousness. I'm very glad that they're even pulling in renegade groups like Maiti Allah, for instance, and obviously talking sense, knocking some sense into his head. I notice into their, the heads of their spokes, their leaders, their representatives, I notice that they're now talking about um, accepting the decision of governors and agreeing to obey the rules. Very different from defiant, arrogant language which they were using when Benue it was a totally, totally unconscionable language after people have been killed. Okay, so let's talk about Sunday ago. A Yoruba activist has also taken a stand. <coughs> he has been in the news in the last couple of days, in the past few weeks. Some are criticizing his stand. Some are saying that he's going overboard. You talk about excesses and all that. Have you met him? What do you think about his actions and how he's carrying on? No, we've never met. And uh, incidentally, I, I hope people, you know, people will always report things properly. I saw a byline on one of these media uh, online reports where Lushenka calls Iboho a hero or something. I never did, I never did any sort of thing. But Sunday Iboho uh, has responded to a situation in the way he knew how. Now, you will see that he's w trying to work with others. This is the way these things really happen. Somebody, one day, he reaches explosion point, 
and he says, I cannot take this any longer, and he takes unilateral action. He cannot, the action may be excessive, it may be wrong-headed, the, what matters is that somebody has responded to an unacceptable situation. Any errors which he makes is for the rest of us to correct by calling him, and I know that a number of people are doing that.